What's up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here, and today I got some KFC. Got a bunch of different stuff delivered just now. Let's see, I got a chicken sandwich, um, a zinger or taco they call it, two pieces of fried chicken here, some fries, a biscuit, and an egg tart. Also got a cola, actually it came with two colas, but um, one's in the fridge. This came out to about 17, $18. And it looks like a pretty good amount, but I'm pretty hungry, so um, I'm excited to get into this. It, everything looks pretty good. It came really fast too. And this is a large Coke. Usually in Korea, the like even McDonald's, Burger King, they have really small Cokes. So that's uh, a good bonus point already. Mm. So I don't know what to try first. I guess I'll just try this chicken sandwich out. <clears throat> Looks like your standard chicken sandwich. Got some mayo, lettuce, and a tomato on there. Standard chicken sandwich. Hmm. That is really good. I feel like a lot of people hate on KFC, um, especially maybe in Korea. I'm not sure, but you know, Korea is famous for their fried chicken, and um, it's like KFC is like nothing compared to some some fried chicken places like that are from Korea. But I don't know. I love KFC. That chicken does have a unique flavor to it. All right, so I've never had this before. I'm not sure, even sure what it is. Here's what it looks like though. And they call this the Zinger Taco. They have the hard shell and the soft shell with the cheese in the middle, like the Taco Bell thing. Piece of chicken, um, tomatoes, lettuce, onions, some kind of sauce, so. Let's try this out. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Not bad. I have no idea if this is just in Korea or in other countries as well. But surprisingly, <clears throat> it does have some of those like Mexican or like American style Mexican flavors that, you know, usually in Korea, if they have like something like a, something like this, I would expect it to be, taste nothing like a taco at all. But this does have like taco, uh, that chili powder taste, like taco seasoning flavor in there. so pretty surprised and happy about that fries are good pretty fresh actually I don't know if you can hear probably not that one but pretty decently fresh <clears throat> all right let's go in for this chicken I got two pieces here hopefully you can see both of them I think this is a breast right here Mm. Something about KFC. And I'm sure this one is not too different from the breast, but... That is mighty fine as well. <clears throat> Here's one thing that I don't like about KFC in Korea. The biscuit. So this is the biscuit. I forgot to show you this. Classic uh, KFC. I'm not sure. They didn't specify whether this was like the extra crispy or the original or whatever. But anyway, classic KFC though. This biscuit is, from what I remember, different than the classic biscuit that I know and love from America.
Hmm. Actually, this one is pretty good, but I think I f still feel like it's different. <clears throat> the ones in America aren't so like hard, right? They don't have this like outer crust, do they? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't had KFC in America for a long time. And then, lastly, this egg tart. This is actually one of my favorite things about KFC in Korea. I'm going to eat this as dessert. It's really sweet. I feel like this has a little bit of sweetness in it that the one in America it doesn't have, but <clears throat> I'm not sure. Mmm. That is real good. <clears throat> oh. Got some leakage on the bottom though. I mean, that ripped right through. Alright, so the, the taco has some problems with um, stability, but it's still good. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, so like I said, I just ordered this. Wasn't sure what to get. Actually, this is kind of like a spare of the moment thing. I wanted to get taco, or not Taco Bell. I wanted to get Subway, actually. But... I just filmed a video and it took me forever to film and edit especially and then it was one of those ones that like after you film it after I filmed it and started editing I was like ah oh, well I gotta I missed this part or I missed this part up so I gotta film it again and um you'll probably see that one after this one but hopefully it's alright well I was really tired Didn't feel like walking over to subway. It's like maybe ten minutes. And um, yeah. So no really plan, no plans for for this mukbang. But <clears throat> actually, there is something that I thought might be interesting to talk about. I think yesterday I got a comment that said, like, you should talk more about. You know, personal stuff maybe, like um, childhood stuff. Stuff like, did you play sports? Did you play any musical instruments? Like, what kind of music do you like? Stuff like that. And I thought that was a good idea. And, um... <clears throat> the person said... Specifically mentioned, I think, music and musical instruments. So I figured maybe I could talk about music in general and, you know, how it applies to, or how it did apply to my life and still does. So, <clears throat> I guess we could start with like instruments. The first musical instrument I played... <laughs> Well, everyone did in school. I think in first grade, music class, everyone played the recorder. So, I mean, I could, I could play a couple tunes on that. I think like "Mary Had a Little Lamb," "Happy Birthday" song. It's funny. My dad actually plays the recorder. Like, you can read the sheet music for the recorder. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like the long, like, flute type of thing. But he actually can play that. Like, read the sheet music for it. So he was trying to teach me some stuff on that. But. It wasn't really my cup of tea.
I mean, that must have been when I was like six years old. <clears throat> and after that, I don't think I had any inter interest in playing music for a while, but my parents were always trying to get me to do some like activities and stuff. So when I was around like 11, I think, they basically forced me to sign up for piano lessons. Me and my brother. Which we both absolutely hated. We hated our teacher. Who we called KVK. But no, we just hated everything about it. And um, I did, you know, learn a couple of things. I think I learned, like, for Elise. The classic, uh, I don't even know who it's by, but. <clears throat> and then, you know, a lot of basic um, piano tunes. But we probably did that for a year. And then, like, every time we went to lessons, we always complained about it. And then, eventually, our parents were just like, all right, whatever. After a year. And then a few years later, in high school, maybe it was eighth grade, I, um, my dad also plays the guitar. <clears throat> And he had a couple acoustic guitars and a really old electric guitar. Just he never touched it. Just sitting around in the attic, and um, he didn't play the, even the acoustics very much. But one day I was just like trying to, I was probably bored or something, and picked up one of his acoustic guitars and started trying to just fiddle around with it. And I remember just like, not even chords, just like one note with one finger. I managed to like figure out the basic melody to like Smoke on the Water or Iron Man or something, like some of those basic old classic rock songs. And then <clears throat> I was like, wow, I actually can like figure out how to do something by myself because when it came to the piano or the recorder, I mean, if you gave me that thing, I would not be able to figure out like how to do anything on my own. <laughs> but <laughs> actually, I think I kind of impressed myself. Like, wow, I could actually play this tune with like no prior experience on guitar, even though it wasn't even like right, but. So I started getting an interest in it, and I asked my dad to like bring out the old electric guitar, and then like I fiddled around on that for a while. And I wouldn't wouldn't say I was ever good, but. I got good enough to the point where I wanted to buy my own guitar. So I, I like what I was into was like punk rock, like classic punk rock, or not classic punk rock, nineties pop punk rock, like Blink One Eighty Two, um, Green Day, maybe stuff like that. This one I was probably like thirteen, fourteen, and um, <clears throat> I, I could play all those songs no problem. They're pretty basic like pretty pretty basic songs and at that point I wanted to buy my own guitar so I bought like a pretty expensive guitar I think it was like seven eight hundred bucks electric guitar still remember it really nice <clears throat> and just started like I never got I got like two or three lessons but I didn't like it. I was mainly just teaching myself. And there's like a, I don't know if you guys know anything about guitar, but there's these things that are called power or what's it called? Tabs, guitar tabs. And it's basically like sheet music for dummies. 
like anyone can be able to read it <clears throat> and play it so that's what i would use and i like taught myself pretty decently Mm. all right so that's what it is they just have straight up like regular salsa in here <clears throat> which is what makes that mexican flavor anyway <clears throat> Tried to try to get a couple bands going. I don't know if you guys saw my chicken nugget video where I linked my friend Jake's channel to like um, he has a, a video of us playing guitar just randomly. I'll put a link in the in the description of this video actually, but <clears throat> yeah. But in high school, yeah, I tried to form a couple bands. Played at like a couple shows. You know, birthday party. I played at a birthday party once, some girl. And I um, played like open mics, like a, one or two, but never really got big into the scene. And when I was probably like 18, 17, 18. I just pretty much quit out of nowhere like I really enjoyed playing but I didn't feel like I was improving that fast like I reached a point where I was like well I can play a lot of things a lot of the songs I like but when it comes to like more complex stuff like I couldn't play it so I basically just quit <clears throat> um but at the same time my brother he was actually interested in drums, so he had a huge drum set too. And then I started getting in, in, into drums as well, and I started liking drums a lot more than guitar. So I would, you know, try to teach myself that as well. And pretty much the same thing happened with guitar. Like I could play a lot of the songs I liked just by teaching myself. But I noticed there's a lot of things that I couldn't do and was not making any progress on. So I pretty much gave that up too. Um, mm. And also, at that time when I was probably 17, 18, I started getting out of rock and more into like rap, hip hop, stuff like that. So I pretty much stopped playing drums then and jumped into like <laughs> it's something called fl studio i'm not sure if you guys have heard about it but it's basically like a beat maker beat making program i guess or a lot of people make either electronic music on it or um like rap or hip-hop beats on it I started trying to get into that um teaching myself Pretty much the exact same thing happened. I could get, I was making some decent little songs. Um, nothing spectacular. But I'm, I thought they were cool. Basically just like rap instrumentals is what I was making. But there's still like, especially trying to teach yourself that program. I feel like it's pretty, it can be complicated. So, pretty much gave up on that. Well, I've been, I do that every once in a while still, maybe once a year, just mess around with it. <clears throat> but funny thing is, that is actually where my, my YouTube channel started. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my, um, my username, like DJ Ben Dine. It's supposed to be Ben Dean, but. Originally, I created this channel back in like 2008, and I uploaded a couple of the like rap instrumentals that I made on this channel. I 
And actually, some of them got like quite a few views. I think a couple of them had like <clears throat> eighty thousand views or something. What I would do is like take a acapella, just the the voice of like a little Wayne song, and then make a beat, and then put the my beat under his voice, and then do it like that. But never made any money off of that because I mean that's all straight up copyright, right? So. Then after rap, I got into like electronic stuff. Started messing around with like electronic beats. <clears throat> and I've been uploading them on this channel probably once every, maybe twice a year. Twice a year I'll be like, <clears throat> man, I wanna make some music or something or just mess around with it. Hop on the program and just pump out some terrible beats. But, so yeah, I probably had like 30, I think maybe around 30 uploads before my first video where I actually appeared like three months ago. <clears throat> probably had 30 uploads of just random, terrible music creations. They're still on my channel. <clears throat> They're all private right now. Maybe someday I'll, I'll show you guys one. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's where I am now. Uh, every once in a blue moon, I'll hop on that program and just try to mess around. But really... I've just kind of gotten out of the whole like making music or creating music type of thing, playing music, which is kind of, um, yeah. <clears throat> kind of sad a little bit because I mean, I like trying to be creative when I can be. <laughs> but, So what kind of music do I like right now? <clears throat> mm, probably like rap, hip hop, um, different types of le electronic music. I don't like really hardcore like dance music. But I'm, I like more like the EDM that's, what do you call it? I don't know, I just like melodic stuff, you know, that there's some stuff that if you go to a club, there's no melody at all. It's just all bass. Well, I like the stuff with uh, more melodies in there. Maybe like as an example, Calvin Harris, but I don't listen to a, a huge variety of music. I think I've talked about this once <clears throat> that I don't really know where to find a lot of music these days. When it comes to rap and hip hop, I'm still stuck on Drake, his recent album that he dropped, Views. I'm still listening to that like every day. So. That's what I'm into right now. A lot of people ask me if I like K-pop. And I think I, I answered it in my Q&A video, but <clears throat> I would say I wouldn't call myself a fan. But I don't hate it all. I, I know some people who just hate all K-pop, I feel like. Um, nothing like that. I mean, there's some good hits.
<clears throat> all right, just got done with all of my main course there. This table or this angle, hopefully it's not very like off off center here, like tilted, but oh well. <clears throat> Here's the egg tart. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if you'd hear that, <laughs> but actually, it, it surprised me. It's very flaky and crispy. And then the middle here is like um, it's like a cream filling type of thing. Can't really see that. A little bit sweet, but definitely not too sweet. Mm. Warm, flaky. I've had egg tarts before that aren't really like, like this flaky and buttery. KFC has a pretty good egg tart, which I don't remember being in America, but. <clears throat> that is kind of at a an angle huh anyway sorry about that all right that was a pretty good lunch gotta say i'm pretty full off of that and that was a decent amount of food and i'll probably have to go down for a little dirt nap but um i just want to say thank you guys for watching this video i also want to say special thank you to jess for supporting me on patreon really appreciate that um anyway if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, wow. Um, let's see. How should I set this up? I don't have any plates right now, so... Ah, damn.